Okay, so I made a decision on these Gap shirts. I have like these four Gap shirts that I bought the same style, just different colors. I don't know. I don't do that anymore. I like make it a point to not buy more of the same thing, just one of each thing. I have this, I don't know, habit or thought in my head or fear in my head that there's never, like I'm never going to find another thing as great as, like I'll find one shirt that I like and then I buy it in every color because I'm afraid that I'll never find something else I like. And I need to let go of that because I always find more things I like. So the green and the burgundy I'm going to let go of because I haven't worn these in years and I'm just, they make me anxious when I look at them in my closet. Does that happen to anybody else who just hold on to things? And then you don't wear them, and then you feel guilty every time you look at them that you're not wearing it. Yeah. So I'm going to keep the white and the black, but here's the deal. And here's the deal with these four is, okay, so this is like a gray and navy striped long sleeve shirt. And it's just kind of like, eh, when you put it on. It's not nothing special. This one is from Express, and this is like a more tunicky length. Um dark gray and heather gray striped and it's got like quite a big scoop neck where I really don't feel comfortable like I'd have to wear something under it and I'm kind of notice that I avoid shirts that I have to wear a tank top under but it's basically brand new I could sell this but what I'm gonna do because I don't have a ton of long sleeve shirts is I'm gonna keep these four through the season because we're going into cold weather and if I don't wear them, they're going in the next perch. And then these I'm going to keep. These are four kind of basic shirts. So I have like uh, black, heather gray, dark gray, gap, like fitted shirts. I'm just going to keep those. And then I should probably put these in my work clothes bin, but I don't know if I can get to it. I'll just leave them out. And then I have this one kind of pink oversized white shirt. So I'm going to keep these. Okay, and these go up here. So these are like all my basics t shirts. They're like long sleeve and then just a couple short sleeves, so not too bad. And these I'll be wearing a lot when it comes to winter. So here is an Express cardigan sweater, and I think I am going to keep this, although as you can see it tracks everything. It's got kind of these little jewels. It's just a basic, like this probably should have went in my work sweaters box. I might see if there's more room in that. Okay, and I'm going to go through the rest of the sweaters. I'll check back with you guys. Okay, you guys, so I didn't do that good with sweaters. Um, I am going to get rid of this one. This is like an express. It's kind of got like a weird U-shape collar. Uh, Dolman sleeves, and then it's long. But I did get a lot of wear out of it, even though it still looks like it's in good condition. Um, two years ago when I bought it. But it has a hole in it somewhere. So... And I don't love this one enough to, here it is, to fix it. And honestly, this, for some reason, like this white and whatever stripe, it just kind of like washes me out. So I am going to get rid of that. As far as the other ones, I think I'm going to do, and just tried all these on. And I actually really like them. So I think what I'm going to do is, since we're going into winter, I'm going to keep all these for now. And then I will reassess at the end of the season. Um, I did, I have those three bags of stuff that I'm getting rid of, and then a lot of the stuff that I'm selling is like spring, summer, so I really purged my spring and summer, like I was ruthless. So I think for now, like since we're going into the cold weather, and the cold weather here lasts until, I don't know, it doesn't start getting warm until April, and it's still not that warm. Like, these are probably the warmest months right now. So anyways, okay, I have this Old Navy 
kind of holiday sequiny sweater so I want to keep this for the holidays and then I actually got have a lot of old navy sweaters because uh, I don't know if it was last year or the year before but uh, they had like a 75% off all sweater sale like in the beginning of the season so that it wasn't clearance it was just a holiday sale it was awesome so I had bought like tons of sweaters like six and they were like six dollars each they were really cheap so I got this one, um, and I sold probably half of them, and then I kept half of them. And I've kind of been, I think it was two years ago, because I've gotten rid of a couple year by year. So this one I think I got there too. It's just like a gray, gray long sleeve. I'm going to keep that. This one is Exhilaration. I actually got this at... A okay, my battery died. Sorry about that. So this is like a shiny like gray and then it's got like this foil gold um, leopard print and then it's got like lurex lurex is that what it's called uh, like gold shimmery threading in there and this is really cute too so I'm gonna like keep those for the holidays and then see and then this is a gap like mint green I got this on final sale 14 bucks and it has silk in it huh I was considering selling it because it's brand new and I'm kind of like over this color it just it was really popular in the spring and now I'm just kind of like ugh. but it is cute so I'm gonna see if I reach for it if I don't then I'll sell it because I think it will sell well like in the spring this one I got at Old Navy on clearance and actually it has a hole in the back that I didn't notice and then I couldn't find my receipt and I never returned it for six bucks. And I was going to sell it, but then it had the hole. So, I just tried it on though, because I was I was going to get rid of it. Because it's, I feel like it's not my style. But it's actually really cute on. And it's a really lightweight. So, I'll see if I wear it. If I don't, that will go in the next one. This one is like an open weave poncho sweater, which I love. I This is probably the most recent purchase I got. I got this like in the spring. Um, early, early spring. Probably February about this. January, February. Uh, and it's really cute. So I'm going to keep that. This is like an express long tunic style. It's really long. Like you can wear it over leggings. And I'm not a total fan of it. Like the sleeves are really scrunchy like they suck to your arm suck to your arm does that make sense I don't know and it's kind of a weird neckline but I just tried it over leggings and it was really cute so I'm gonna give it a shot for this season this is another one of the old navy sweaters this is I had a few colors in these and I ended up selling them and I kept this blue one it's really cozy and comfy so I'm gonna see if I'll wear that and then this is that express one so I'm going to fold these up and put them back in and show you guys. Okay, so here's all the sweaters and you can see it's like maxed out. And I had to put a couple of the other ones up here, the thinner ones. Um, so hopefully, you know, I'll be able to declutter a few of these after the season. Just because, you know, I just don't want to have like, like having too much stuff, having everything like wow in your face. It's... It gives me anxiety. I don't know. But I do also have a bunch of sweaters. Like this is all. Wait. This and this is all of my hanging sweaters. And I might even have a couple in the laundry too. So I have quite a bit. And I've got. Oh, I have two black cardigans here. Hmm. Well, I mean, this is starting. Okay. So my goal is to not obsess over decluttering any longer until the end of the season because these were three other things that I kind of was wanting to get rid of they're like these flannel shirts these two are from Target last year and they're just kind of like oversized they don't fit that well whatever and then this old navy one I wore to death but it's still I mean it still looks okay so and flannel's totally in right now, and I like wearing it. 
So I think I'm going to just keep them during the season. And if I don't wear them, they'll be gone. They'll probably be gone after this season because they're not very good quality. And I did buy one new flannel shirt at TJ Maxx. Okay, one other thing I did find that I decided to get rid of is these Gap jeans. I was wearing these to try on the shoes earlier and I've had these for a really long time. Um, they faded. The zippers actually been broken for a while. I have to like, every time I try them on I have to like hook the zipper in. I mean it zips up but when you unzip it, it like breaks open again. I have got, and they're kind of stretched out. They don't look that good anymore. So I might regret it, but I think I'm going to get rid of these because I did order. I had a coupon for Express. I haven't shopped there in a really long time. I've been trying not to shop too much. And I did buy two new pairs of jeans in a sale. I haven't gotten them yet. They're like skinny jeans, but they're kind of ankle length. So I'm thinking I'll exchange those for these. I did get rid of a few, a few more pairs of jeans in my declutter. I might do at the end, at the end of this video, I might cut all this out and then do just a whole thing on what I got rid of and then what I kept. So next. Wow, we're almost done. So, okay, I need to decide on this coat. And I'm not sure. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to put it up here on my undecided. This blouse I got at Express, and I never wore it. It's really cute on. It's just... It's like a work shirt. Maybe I'll put it in my work stuff. And it also has, like, a little... I don't know if you can see. I got it on clearance there and I didn't even notice. But it has, you can't tell. It's got like a white mark right there. Oh, it's cute though. It's like a tunic length. I might keep this. If I went back to work and I was working, um, not case management, but like a clerical position, I would probably keep this. Let's see. I still have room in here, so I'm going to stick it in. Okay. This is just like a basic green tank cami. I don't usually like camis anymore because I can't, I don't like wearing a strapless bra. I like to have a bra on, and so there's always going to be straps. Now, this would be good for layering. So, I don't know. I don't really have anything else like this. So... Let's put that there. And then this I actually bought it at a thrift store. It's really cute. It's like a tunic blend and it's got this see-through. I paid like $4 for it. But that's the problem. It has this see-through so you have to wear another tank top underneath it, which is a pain in the butt. It's really cute though. The other thing about this kind of material though is that it wrinkles really easily and I do not iron. I don't. I'll iron if I have to. So if it's a wedding or something like that. And then this shirt I totally regret buying. This is like, I need to just not shop. I'll just keep these two. And this will go in next month because I really don't want to sit here agonizing over the stuff so this this I'm gonna hang to so I don't know I wish I would have filmed a before because I had a lot I mean this thing was so packed like up to here and then I also had like a rack thing like a hanging bar and it had I had all the coats like all these coats were down there okay so belts I never I think what I'm going to do with the belts is I'm going to take these big ones and put them back here because I really simplify it. And then 
I got rid of one belt. I'm considering getting rid of this white one. I think I'm just going to do it. It's leather. I'm just... I've like never worn it. I'm going to get rid of it. I might try to take it to that resale shop. Okay. So, I've got this Target one. I did get a lot of wear out of it. As you can see, like, this part is kind of coming apart. The only thing is I only have so many long belts and then that you can actually wear on, like, around your, like, through your belt loops on your pants. And then I have a lot of, like, waist ones. So this is a waist one. This is a waist one. Yeah. This is a waist one. This is a waist one, too. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. Okay. This is a waist one. And that's a waist one. So, okay. So these are the only ones I have that will actually probably fit all the way around. I think some of these will fit like on the very last one, like this one. So, hmm, I'm going to keep these. So I'll put these, oh I have these two too, a leopard and a black. So I think what I'll do so it doesn't look too cluttery. I'm going to put these here, so I'll probably wear these ones the most. This leopard one's a long one, and this black one I don't think is. Um, I'll put three on each. So I'll put, this one is like a holiday, I'm going to keep that one, and probably this one. And then... What I'm going to do is put, I think I'll be more inclined to wear them if there's less. So these are more summery. I'm going to put these in my spring summer box. And I, 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 I'm just not into this style right now. I like it, but I don't think I'll wear it. So I'm going to put all these in my spring summer box. So now I just have six belts here that I'll probably be more inclined to wear now because there's not so much. And then I've got the three big ones over there. I could also put those belts probably in here, but I just want to keep things as simple as possible. So in here I have like um, three wallets, some gloves, and, and then yeah, my gloves, and then I have a hat and a beanie. So a winter and then I've got so I've got scars on there I'm gonna keep all those for now